What is Yoshi's favorite metal? Tungsten. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Yoshi's Story at the top of the stream, and we'll be doing Super Metroid later. Hello. Hello, Gamera Obscura. <laughs> Boo this man. <laughs> Oh, the joys. The joys of being here at the top of the stream. You get to hear, you get to hear the terrible pun. Hello, cows. Cows are important. Great to see you as always. And hello, Jelly. Welcome to the stream. So, uh, so yeah, a little bit more work on Yoshi's story tonight. Um, my plan is to, we've, 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 uh, we put the melon challenge on hold. <laughs> We're gonna get all the melons. We're going to get all the melons someday, but right now we're focusing on unlocking levels. We're going to blaze through, hopefully, all the number one levels. And then we're going to try to go through all the number four levels. Now for the number four, even though we won't be focusing on melons, we're going to have to do a lot of work because we have to find, we'll have to find all three hearts in every level in order to continue to have access to the number four levels so while we uh while we'll just be uh eating whatever fruits we see indiscriminately and rushing through especially at first there's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a challenge in the second half of a uh, yoshi story tonight and then after that after that we're gonna move on to super metroid i'm gonna play it um i've never played through all the way through super metroid before um, I'm not going to label it a first playthrough, because I have played maybe the first third of the game before. Um, but it's going to be a lot, it's going to be a lot like a first playthrough, and mostly a first playthrough. Super Metroid, yeah, I want to do a, I'm thinking, I want to do, super, I'm, I'm going to start Super Metroid tonight, and then I'm thinking next month, maybe, I'll do Metroid Fusion, and then I'll be all, like, ready for, uh, Metroid, uh, Metroid Dread. A first-ish playthrough, yeah, exactly. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into Yoshi's story here. And so this is, uh, just in case you don't know, this is what I'm talking about with unlocking levels. Every level we clear gets added to the trial mode, and that's important for the melon challenge, because we want to be able to back out of a level if we if we mess up <laughs> story mode story mode is not optimal for for melons and unfortunately we have to rush through all the level ones because uh, because six dash one is not unlocked <laughs> you could only you could only unlock levels by completing them in story mode so even if we did like you know all number fours and then went to this one then we'd have to rush through a whole bunch of levels again just to get this one over here so Whatever, we might as well rush through the level 1s, get this one unlocked, and then uh, try to get through the level 4s quickly as well. So that's what we're going to do. That's smart refreshing for Dread. Well, I'm not really refreshing for it, because um, I haven't played these Metroid games before. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm freshing for it. You're super hyped for Dread. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I saw the, uh, I don't know, teaser or announcement or something. I saw just a little bit that that told me it was actually a thing. And I'm avoiding, I'm trying to avoid all other information about it. I like to, uh, like to avoid spoilers as much as possible. So I don't look for, like, previews and trailers and stuff like that. Once I know that a game exists, and I know it's release date, that's all I want to know about it before I play it. Metroid Dread is going to be great. The hype alone will carry it. Hello, Master Tuesday, and thank you for the bean. Alright, so... It's been brought to my attention that I've been blowing everyone's ears out every time I shake the beans. I've, I, I've been trying to do it behind my microphone, but I guess it's still picking up real loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the jar of beans and I'm going to shake it way over here. That might not even be any better. And then I'll bring it over and I'll draw one. Uh, 
Oh, Egg Bean. I'm not even surprised. I'm not even disappointed. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just resigned. Of course. Of course it's the Egg Bean. That was... You think that was better, Jelly? Alright. I'll try and do it like that from now on. <laughs> egg Bean, Egg Bean. Wherefore art thou, Egg Bean? Wherefore, there are many in the jar. There. There art thou, Egg Bean. And yes, of course, always egg. I mean, uh, it could it could be buttered popcorn. Oh. Oh. It's, it's the popcorn bean. <laughs> Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. It's so disgusting. Oh, we're not doing level four. We're doing level one. Buttered popcorn flavored jelly bean seems almost as gross as anything else. You're not wrong. I hate, I hate buttered popcorn flavored candy. It's, it's disturbing enough that more than one type of buttered popcorn flavored candy exists. Oh. Uh. Zen Chan, welcome to the stream. As usual, thank you for doing your part and keeping me healthy and strong. Let me just hop up here. Oh, my game capture is looking really, really bright and washed out. I don't know that I can fix that, but... I can make it a little less bright. Not a whole lot better, but probably about as good as he gets. All right, so time to move some uh, time to move some weight around. Let's do it. I don't even remember what I did last time. So switch the camera. I feel like it's been the longest time since I've done the lateral raise. So that's what we'll do. I know. I can't get a lot of myself in the camera, but you just have to take my word for it. One. Two. Three. Four. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo. That's not the toughest dumbbell exercise I do, but it's the toughest one I do on stream. The toughest, the most difficult of all of them is the reverse fly. Oh. 
I can barely, I can barely even get the weights up. I should be, I should probably be doing it with a lighter weight, but I don't have lighter dumbbells. Hey, thank you for the trophies. You can see in your face that you're lifting, I believe. <laughs> thank you, Zinchan. Reverse fly sucks. Same with Bulgarian split squat lifts. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what that is. I'm intimidated just by the name. Okay, so again, again, if you're just dropping in, we're just we're just rushing through these. We just want to get the levels unlocked for free play. It's gonna make the game. It's gonna make the game look really bad if I do it well. go seven melons when I do them I can't move my legs for days that sounds scary uh, it's a fan it's a real fancy name for chair squats We can get two. We can get two more fruits here. We don't have to go through that pipe. I think I saw. I think I saw a couple melons back here. Yeah. All right, just like that. Just like that, we're through one level. I was just thinking. I must have done that yesterday when gardening and just not known what it was called. I missed, uh, I missed a lot of the story there. I forgot. I forgot that I should be reading it. Gardening is a hugely full body workout. I need to do, I need to do a lot of work on, uh, on my lawn. I've done, I've submitted, uh, well, I've kind of submitted some paperwork that moves me a little bit a little bit closer toward owning this house that I've been staying in. And like the lawn needs a lot of work, but I haven't been exactly motivated to do a lot of the work because it's like, well, I'm like, if I'm if I'm not going to be keeping this place, I don't really uh I don't really care that much what the lawn what the lawn looks like, but it's looking more and more likely. And so uh I might be getting to work outside here pretty soon. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, like, what used to be flower beds, um, 
or like bushes and flowers like planted among gravel um, in different areas throughout the yard but like they were abandoned long ago and so they're grown over with weeds and basically it's just like dead zones full of rocks and wild plants now so I need to I need to remove all of the rocks and then I need to sow some uh, I need to sow some grass so I can turn it back into lawn in all those areas it's gonna be it's gonna be quite a project sounds like a problem for future frowny but that's the that's the trouble is Pre present frowny is on the precipice of becoming future frowny. <laughs> present frowny is on. Present frowny is his case is terminal. He's on. He's on life support now. He's about to be replaced by future frowny. If that makes sense is not quite your problem yet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So when we were when we were working on melons before, I, this area up here is something we missed out on. You only have a one. You only have one shot to come up here to this base. So this is good. We can gain a little knowledge. You should do a clover lawn. They're better for bees and require less upkeep. I never even thought about that. I don't know that I've I don't know that I've come across any uh, honeybees in my area. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I get I get hornets around here. In the summertime, hornets like to build a nest or two outside on the <laughs> on the edge of my house, and I don't appreciate it. I don't enjoy having them around. As long as you're not intimidated by bees. I saved a bee the other day. It felt pretty good. It would be cool. It would be cool to have a to have a beehive and to be able to harvest, be able to harvest my own honey. I don't know that I'd want to do all the work that goes into it, but it, it's a fun thought. If I make even if I make it down there, I'm not gonna have any eggs left, so let's not go that way. Oh. Never mind. We that that direction is mandatory. Okay, 
three, three more fruits. for a heart. I don't really care about I don't really care about the hearts right now. We'll pick it up anyway. Doesn't doesn't hurt me to pick it up, so might as well. Um I only mention it because I'm transitioning my own lawn from traditional grass to clover. Ooh. Uh both because uh, less mowing and happy for bees, but also because clover is much greener than normal grass with minimal water, and paying for watering a lawn in California is way too expensive. Yeah, I think I think you might be onto something there, cows. I like the idea of less mowing. I'm not a fan of mowing the lawn. I'm not a big, uh, I'm not a big, like, yard work kind of guy. Like, I don't, you know, I don't really, my lawn, my lawn doesn't have to look like a golf course. I live next door to, to that kind of guy. Like, he's the kind of guy, like, he, like, mows his lawn twice a week, and, like, every blade of grass is perfect, and he's, <laughs> he really cares about his lawn. And mine, I mow it once every two weeks, maybe. <laughs> I mow it just just often enough so that my neighbor doesn't like go out and form a, a mob with the other neighbors and show up on <laughs> my door with 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 a pitchfork and with pitchforks and torches. <laughs> As they continued to look for happiness, the Yoshis got lost in a dark cave. Inside lived a bone dragon. If the Yoshi stayed, they'd surely be eaten. They escaped, of course. No Yoshi wants to become lunch for a dragon. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. I believe I believe this is a level where I got one away from having all melons. I remember these mildly disturbing dog-like snakes. Oh, I don't have. Oh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say I don't have any eggs, but I guess I didn't need an egg. Okay. Oh, I want the chili pepper, but it's it's deadly dangerous to eat, unfortunately. Okay. Let's see. Um. 
That actually low-key happened to me at a house I was renting. The lawn service quit. The landlord didn't get a new service. The neighbors got so grumpy, one of them drove over on his riding mower, mowed the lawn, and then charged us for it. What? <laughs> if my neighbor wants to come over and mow my lawn, he can do it. But if he thinks that I'm paying a bill, <laughs> he's out of his mind. Oh, nice. Oh, look at all these fruit. There's tons of fruit. Boss time. I remember this guy. It's made of cotton candy, right? Cloud and candy. Slurpity slurp. I'm so sweet. You can't lick me. Burp. What is he burping? What's he been eating? Hey, thank you for the trophy. We're halfway there. We're halfway through the uh we're halfway through the number ones. As the Yoshis were walking, they found a trail of clouds that led to the sky. Hey, thank you as well, Zinchon. The Yoshis were afraid of falling, but they walked in the clouds anyway. Up in the sky they met Cloud and Candy, who was mean, but tasted sweet. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. <laughs> ah, the sweet taste of defeating your enemies. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, okay, we'll just leave that chili pepper alone. So this is another one where I feel like I came really close to getting all the melons. But... It's got lots of little challenge rooms like this, and I messed up I messed up one of them really badly. So I'm gonna try and do the challenge rooms on this stage just for practice. I mean, I'm going to try and do these correctly. This one, uh... This one's not much of, like... This one's not, like, a specific challenge, though, I think. Uh, well, maybe. I might have to collect the coins. Yep. Yep, that one is collect the coins, okay. 
Gonna lurk for a bit. Go right ahead, my friend, and thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the lurk. Sound like there was a heart inside one of those stones over there. So I don't think there was actually anything inside of these stones. I don't think I broke them all, but I feel like I broke enough of them. Now these up here, there might be something in them. Yeah, okay. Ooh, invincibility? Don't mind if I do. So all the coins here make a melon appear as well. Hey Vansky, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. I think this is the challenge room. I think this is the one I failed before. Yeah. There's. I don't think there's anything you can do about these uh, spiders. I think you just have to kind of avoid them and hope for the best. They can be made to swing. I don't think I can break their strings, though. Okay, when you when you smack them with an egg, they kind of retreat for a while. That can probably be useful. So see, it's a it's a timed thing here. See, there it goes. There goes a melon. I'm not really sure. Oh. I just had to get it from the other direction. It would have been so easy. It would have been so easy. I probably figured that out last time, too. Again, <laughs> too late. All right. So, I've gained a little bit of insight into the challenge that I think we failed. Is this the same area? I think it's the same area. Yeah. That's weird. I don't know why there's I don't know why there's two pipes that lead to the same place. Seems like one seems like one would have been enough. Messed that up. Oh well. Let's just grab, uh, let's just grab whatever fruit we find. There's a, there's a grapes right there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Heart down there. Hello, Key. Hey, thank you for the raid. Oh, no, I'm going to fall. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream, Key. Welcome, Key's friends. Hello, Seer. Great to see you. Thanks for dropping in. I'm just doing a little bit of Yoshi's story. Um... Uh, if you haven't been here to uh, to know what it is we're up to, we are uh, we're just trying to blaze through as many levels as possible in story mode. You have to complete a level in story mode to unlock it for free play, and that's what we're trying to do. We want all the levels unlocked, so we're just we're just rushing through story mode. Not really uh, not really taking time to explore and enjoy the levels right now. Just trying to get through them as quickly as possible. The exploration and savoring of the levels will come later, once we've got them all unlocked. No problem, Melon Run. We're not do uh, we're not doing the melons right now. Um, I have a I have discovered I have discovered that uh. The melon challenge is not uh, is not very compatible with story mode. I'm gonna get I want to get all the levels un unlocked for free play, and then I can do the melon, and then I'm gonna do the melon runs on each individual level one by one. Yes, melon prep. That's exactly what it is. We're we're prepping for we're prepping for our melon runs. Uh, the Yoshi stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but in they went. Gabin was the owner of the house, and he didn't like uninvited guests. Gabin threw things at the Yoshi's, and they were sorry. Forever barging in. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. I see I'm just happy to watch you play. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, because because so many of the melons are locked behind challenges that you can only try once. It's not really, collecting all melons is not really compatible with story mode. Because we could get five levels in, and then and then I mess up my chance and at, at one minigame in a level. And then we have to start from scratch if we want to try the melons again. So yeah, we need to do it in free play. All melon runs in story mode, that's a Yoshi Story expert move. We will though, like right now we're doing only num we're doing levels only numbered one. Um and after we get through these, we're gonna switch to levels only numbered four. And on that pass through the story mode, we are gonna get a little bit more bang for our buck from each level because we're gonna be required to explore at least until we found all three of the hidden hearts.
like this. The hearts don't really matter right now because because le because level one uh, level one or number one levels are always are always available regardless of whether you collect any hearts at all. Okay. That's a lot of that's a lot of melons to have gotten in a row there on the right hand side. For not for not trying to collect melons. That's a lot of melons. And the streak is broken. I can't pass through. I can't pass through. The jellyfish are impenetrable. These jellies look so happy. I want to befriend them. There's a pipe over here. Yeah. Oh, can you can you not, please? Thank you. Um, oh I remember this area. I don't think they I don't think I found any melons in this area though. Of course, I don't understand why these flowers are here. I know, this room is a mystery. Okay, there's got to be a way to proceed over here on the right. Right? Ah, there we go. I missed that pipe before. Uh, I remember this guy. I don't remember... I don't remember ever figuring out what he's all about. Other than just being an obstacle. <laughs> I think there's a way to interact with them other than just, you know, being hurt. It's a very, very strange creature. Okay, five more fruits. Four. Three. Oh no! Where'd that watermelon go? Three. Two. A heart. I think I saw a watermelon over here, though. Ooh. Yep, there we go.
To go any farther, the Yoshis had to brave the ocean. They jumped in. They liked to swim, but the jellyfish's sting spoiled their fun. So they swam to dry land. Now they were almost to the end of the book. The page turned, and the Yoshis grew happier. Zooming right along. Thank you for the trophy scouts. I mean, that's the that's the idea. That's the idea. We'll move through it as quickly as possible. Dun dun dun. Takes a bit of work to get some momentum here. Run. I got lucky there at the sword. I forgot all about the swords. nice on just like in any fruit run it's really nice that like i don't have to be worried about getting hurt uh... i don't have to worry about getting hurt because i could restore my health with any uh with any fruit that comes along of course <laughs> of course there's not much i can do about falling down a pit <laughs> Take it nearly high enough. This isn't Harry Potter. We aren't supposed to fall down pits today. <laughs> Were we supposed to fall down pits in Harry Potter? I know I did, but I, I thought that was an error. <laughs> what? So you stand here, and a melon appears up here. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad I found that. I hope I can remember it, because that's going to be hard to find again if I don't.
What? Oh. I don't know where I was going. If I was if I'm supposed to if I'm supposed to hit those switches and then travel through this uh pendulum door. That's gonna be quite the rough challenge. Can we go up there? Hmm. It looks like there's something up there. I don't think I can make that jump, though. I was wondering if maybe I jumped off of the pendulum and fluttered, but I don't think it's going to work like that. Okay, let's just get through. Uh, don't crush me. Scary, very scary. It's weird that you fall. Okay, there we go. I thought it was weird that we were falling behind the platform, but you can actually fall in front of it too. I went, I went perfectly into that smasher. I couldn't have done that better if it had been on purpose. Oh, and I didn't hit any checkpoints, so we're all the way back here. Oh, only four fruits left to get them. Thought it was all over there for a moment. Hang on, hang on a moment. Uh, 
I thought maybe there was a... I thought maybe there was a secret platform in the ground over there. Whoa. To help me get up to that spot that I was trying to jump to before, but... No. Let's not get squished this time, if possible. Come on, just two fruits. Any two fruits. Oh, I ate one off screen. One fruit. Any one fruit. There we are. Alright, I think we've read this message a lot, so I'm just going to scroll through it. This is the, the easiest boss fight in the universe because there's an infinite number of healing items right here. And yet, I'm still not doing very well. Where do I keep getting eggs from? There we go. Okay, there we go. All the number one stages unlocked.
Thank you. Thank you for the trophies. One one seven seven seven. That seems like a very auspicious number. I don't think there's any way to skip this, so I think we just need to let it let it happen. I guess I could reset the game. I'll let the storybook play out first. I'm glad you do the little head bop to the song, too, because I always do that. <laughs> uh, what can I say? It's a catchy tune. Yoshi's finally got to the castle in the final page of the storybook behind all the noisy machines baby Bowser guarded the tree Bowser was a tough baby but the guys finished but bad guys finish last the Yoshi's won all's well that ends well the Yoshi's had broken Bowser's spell the super happy tree was back. They jumped for joy with their fruity snack. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. All right, there we go. And uh, I think I can safely hit reset. <laughs> I'll be very, I'll be very upset if resetting causes it not to save the last level being unlocked. It's so cute. Happy Yoshis. <laughs> Alright, so one more run. And it's going to be a little more involved to get all these number four levels unlocked. I'm going to have to find all of the hearts and all the levels, except the last one. But we're going to go through, we're going to try and do all the number four levels. We'll get all these unlocked, and then that's going to be it for Yoshi's story for tonight. This is probably, I mean, this is probably an hour and a half of, uh, of this game left ahead of us yet. 
and then we're going to switch over to Super Metroid. Okay, I think... Weirdly enough, I think I know how these work. Yeah. Okay, oh, and they respawn. So finding the hearts can be somewhat tricky, but we do have the uh, benefit that um, it gives us a, an audio clue whenever we're near one. So we're just going to have to do a lot of walking around and listening. The moon creeps me out a little bit. There's something there's something insincere about that moon. We can go up or we can go to the right. I want to try and go up. Not sure if better or worse than that emote. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Very good at using the uh, umbrella. Okay, secret melon. Found by complete luck. Door. I cannot believe. I cannot believe that there would be no hearts this far into the level. Hello, Mazin. Welcome to the stream. Super Metroid. I'm actually somewhat interested in that 
since I hate SNES and Metroid, but everyone keeps saying that Super Metroid is such an iconic game and I've never played it. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I've played, uh, I've played a bit of Super Metroid. Um, I've never played all the way through the game, but I've played like maybe the first third of it before. And I recall liking it quite a bit. I had a really good time with uh, Metroid Zero Mission. I streamed it a couple months ago. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. one of these. Alright, well it is possible. Let's see if I can do it with the pressure on. Let's see if I can even get back up there. Uh, there we go. What? No! I didn't even get to try. I th I had to jump before I crossed the flag. I thought I could still jump from the corner here. Oh. What? Robbed. And you see, it's stuff like that. It's stuff like that that makes the melon the melon run incompatible with story mode. Because there's no way to retry that. You'd have to give up your whole playthrough. I know we're only on the first level, but that kind of stuff happens everywhere in the game. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, a heart. Two more. Two more, and then we can start filling up on fruit. particularly well. Oh, there's another heart. I saw it. That's number two. One more. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these uh, melons here. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll grab a couple other fruits, though. I don't know if there's something down there or not. Scared to fall down there and try, but they saw those coins. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm disgusted by the wacky SNES physics that feel half smooth, half stiff. I don't understand what people like about the in between 2.5D stuff with round edges. There's nothing more ugly I could think of. I can't even force myself to play SNES games. And that's tough. <laughs> tough call. Uh. I don't know, Mazin. It just might not be for you.
I definitely think, um, I mean, I can kind of get what you're talking about because I definitely think that bad Super Nintendo games are worse than bad NES games. Oh, there we go. There's heart number three. Everything is cuter when it has rounded edges. There you go, Mazin. Mazin, you just have to look at 2.5D. You just have to look at it like it's like a number eight. Because it's because it's rounded, it's easier to look at. You know, those old, old blocky pixelated games, their corners are so sharp it hurts your eyes. <laughs> Uh. Nice move. <laughs> Hello, Derek. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you again. Listen, <laughs> I got you there. Uh. My favorite game. My favorite game is an SNES game. I don't know the, the SNES. I don't know that I could say it's my favorite console. I think, the, I think the NES is probably my favorite console. I don't know. It's really hard. It's really hard to decide for me. I think there are probably, you know, even though Super Ghouls and Ghosts is my favorite game, I think that there are probably more games I like on the NES than the Super Nintendo. I, I like the NES Mega Man games better than... The Super Nintendo Mega Man games that I've played or sampled. I like um, I like NES Castlevania better than Super Castlevania. Um, I like Mario Brothers Three better than Super Mario World. But, but, Yoshi's Island is a Super Nintendo game, and, oh man, I really like Yoshi's Island. I really, I really don't like riding these, uh, wind things upward. This is not going well. I need to stand over here and take a break for a moment. Oh, magic beans. Um, for you, it's uh, SNES, PS2, Dreamcast, Xbox, and PS4. Okay. For the beans to stir. And take a pick. I got two. I need to drop one. And we got <laughs> uh, this is uh, this bean is marshmallow or stink bug. I'm just glad it's not buttered popcorn. Marshmallow, all right. All right, that's so much better than popcorn. Uh, 
I tell you what, I would I would buy a whole box of these uh, marshmallow jelly beans. I like them that much. I would buy and eat a whole box of this one flavor. The marshmallow jelly bean is legitimately great. Um, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what that says there in just a moment. Alright. I think maybe if the SNES would have been my very first contact with games, there'd be a chance that I could get into it and probably develop, like, a nostalgic attachment to it or something, but unfortunately I already had seen NES stuff before, and to me NES is a far better experience in general, so I could never downgrade my expectations to round SNES stuff. SNES is so classic and iconic. I agree with that. Um, so far, only Demon's Crest could convince me that it's game... With its gameplay. I forgot it was a SNES game while playing it. The very blue... Fa fa very... Oh. Very blue... I do that with the berry blue f flavor, my favorite. You can buy them uh, by the pound, by the color. Oh, that's right. That's right. They've got like, um, like at a candy store in like the mall. It's been so long since I've been to the, one of those places. But yeah, like you can get a, a bag and scoop out a whole bunch of one type of bean. Yeah, I would probably do that with the, uh, I, th I could probably do that with the marshmallow. Actually, though, if I were in that situation, I probably would just pick, like, vanilla beans. Because that's that's why I like the marshmallow bean so much, is because it has it just has such a strong vanilla flavor. And I like, I like vanilla. A lot of things, like, like vanilla ice cream and stuff like that, like, a lot of things that are vanilla flavored, though, are, are very weakly vanilla flavored. I like a I like a nice strong vanilla flavor. All right, we are out of here. Uh, some of the greatest games of all time are on the SNES. I agree. Super Metroid, Mario World One and Two, Link to the Past, Donkey Kong series. Yep. Yeah, I like the Donkey. I'm I'm really liking the Donkey Kong Country games. Something's making me itch right here on the outside of my nose. Oh, not knowing where to go, the Yoshis climbed as high as they could. When they reached the top, they looked around. They still didn't know where to go. Finding the super happy tree not might not be as easy as they had thought. <laughs> Let's just hope that Frowny's outstanding gameplay can chip off some of my hatred for Metroid or SNES. I don't know, Mazin. I'm going to do my best, but we'll see.
Um, vanilla is very tasty when done right. My last year mate always looked at me funny for choosing the fancy vanilla ice cream rather than some other flavor with 18 billion mix-ins. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone can do it, it's frowny. Oh no, don't build me up too much. I don't know if I can live up to the expectations. What do you think the worst system is? Metroid is your favorite Nintendo series. Uh, Zelda is probably my favorite Nintendo series. Um, Metroid, I'm still just getting into. I've only ever, I've only ever completed one Metroid game. Um, what do you think the worst system is? I mean, <laughs> I mean, probably the Virtual Boy, <laughs> right? That one's pretty hard to defend. And this is coming from someone... This is coming from someone where I... I've probably spent maybe 500 hours of my life playing Virtual Boy games. Which may not sound like the hugest amount, but that's a lot for Virtual Boy. Jumping in just to say, imagine getting all one flavor of jelly beans for favors for a wedding or something, and that one flavor being rotten egg or stink bug. Oh no. Your favorite series used to be Pokemon, but since 2015, it is Splatoon now. Splatoon, Splatoon is a lot of fun. I wonder if we'll ever get a Splatoon spin-off game that's a 2D platformer. I don't really know how it would work or anything, but I'd be interested to see it. Since I like 2D platformers so much. Um, no tasty paxies on wedding gifts. <laughs> Uh, say virtual boys up there cdi here is a pretty awful system yeah that's the thing is i i wouldn't want to i'd have to limit it to only consoles that i've uh experienced i feel like so like yeah like the cdi or the 3do or something like that like i've never really i've never really spent any time with any of those so i have to hold my judgment back I wonder if this is a challenge. Do I need to get all these coins? Maybe this is. Ground pound this block and nothing happens. What else can you try? Are you sure nothing happens? Guess so. something up here. Alright, the ghosts. Ghosts are scary and they fly and drift. These nice folks will give you a lift. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. They will. Oh, heart. That's what we're after. We're after the hearts. I need to... I need to remember to stay focused on that. Probably the only heart in this area, though. Mm -hmm. 
not even too much of a fan of the gameplay and stuff, but P Splatoon's message for the world is just too strong and important to be ignored, and the depth in relation to its lifespan is already deeper than Pokemon, which I liked for the same reason. Interesting. Splatoon is fun, but I never looked at it that way. Yeah, I'm not really sure, like, I don't... I don't know much about, like, the story and world of Splatoon. I really only played it at a very surface level. So maybe that's, maybe that's just something I need to fix. This kind of sneaky place to hide a melon up there. As a Metroid fan, I'm excited for the new one and No More Heroes 3. I've never played any of the No More Heroes games. One of my friends, one of my friends was a really big fan of the first one when I was in high school, but I uh, I never played it myself. I'm excited. I'm a, I am excited for the new Metroid. Oh, that's just it takes me in a circle. I just erased all my own progress. <laughs> that didn't look right. That looked that looked messed up. I think. Some of them was a little off there. My knowledge of Splatoon consists only of you're a kid now, you're a squid now. was the wrong move for that. So there's probably another box up here. Um, maybe, oh, yep, there it is. So yeah, I had to push the two boxes together. I messed it up. Understand what the uh, switches are doing. Why did it make those? What? Oh, oh! I know what I get. What the switch was doing. Okay, it was so I could move that box to the right position. Oh, I've never seen. I've never seen Yoshi grab and swing on vines before. Weird. Weird. That doesn't seem like something Yoshi would do. Um, Uncharted, I feel like, was uh, more deeper and some of the best storytelling in games ever. Same with The Last of Us, just not uh, part two. The game was fine, but the story was terrible. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people didn't like it. I don't know anything. Haven't played... Uh, either of the last of us again all of these newer games like uncharted the last of us like this is stuff that i'm probably never going to get to <laughs> it's very it's very unlikely i'm going to play any of those games uh splatoon is extremely deep and if you go only slightly under the surface of it you already see the unmatched genius of it 
and how it changes the player's mental health and mindset for the better. I'm sure in a few decades or so, Splatoon will be a prescription by psychologists if they even have a reason to exist anymore then. <laughs> uh, but that's also why I feel it's my duty to push Splatoon as much as I can to speed up the world's awareness of this phenomenon. <laughs> And see, I thought, uh, here, I thought Splatoon just made me want to eat taffy a lot. I've only found one heart. Oh my goodness. I think games can help with issues or take your mind off of stuff. I think this is true. This is the right move. Um, what? I don't know where that melon came from, but okay. Sure, I'll take it. I don't think I did that right, though. I need... Can you can you guys draw a line in a more useful place for me, please? Um, I don't think I really played something that I really thought was that serious. What's the? Yeah, what's the? Oh. No, no, stop washing me, stop washing me down the slope. Oh, I don't think I'm going to survive. I feel like the itsy bitsy spider. Um, I agree, it depends on the person and how they resonate. Same, but I also tend to pick stuff just for cuteness. <laughs> All right, there we go. Heart number two. We've just got one more to find. Mostly it's for fun. this down here okay I don't know if I wanted to come through here oh no oh no and now I don't have a choice to go back I would have liked to uh, explore that a little more I think and I may have missed my chance at whatever's over here too oh maybe not no oh, but there isn't anything over here what? You thought The Last of Us 2, your problem with it was it was too topical and serious.
It felt bleak and sad. I uh, definitely don't think I want to play anything that sounds bleak and sad. Um, I'm sure that not even the developers themselves intended Splatoon to be this genius. There's a way to... There's way too much that just accidentally fits perfectly together and creates a new subtle messages for our world and our daily lives. There's no way anyone could have ever planned all this beforehand. Not even, not even God is that perfect. That's, that is a, that's a pretty big estimation there, Masson. Um, I just noticed I start spamming the chat again. looking for melons though I'm looking for hearts all right I have to stop eating fruits I'm gonna end up leaving this level and not have all the hearts that I need and that's gonna be really bad for me I didn't know a ground pound would go through the box Hopefully the last, uh, hopefully the last heart is over there with Poochie. Never mind, I got it. I didn't even see it and I got it. It was right here. I didn't hear it, I didn't see it, but I got it. Alright, well, let's, uh, I still want to go over there and see Poochie if I can. Is that it? Well, there's gotta be something more over here, right? Mm, maybe you can come down from another place. Game that had the most impact on you is Silent Hill 2. Those are, uh, the Silent Hill games are some games that I need to get into sometime, I think. I think I have, I think I own Silent Hill 1 and 2. I feel like I've played a little bit of the first one, but I haven't, I haven't really played either of them.
All right. We're uh we're a third of the way through our number our number 4 level run. Silent Hill 2 is amazing. I've heard great things about it. I know it's a I know it's very well liked. One of your top 10 games. To avoid a dark, scary cave, the Yoshis entered a nearby tunnel. Inside, they found a maze that overflowed with rushing water. Perhaps they should have just gone through the cave instead. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Um, I miss Silent Hill. I hope one day it comes back. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be really nice if Konami's not interested in making games anymore. It'd be really nice if they'd sell their if they would sell their IP off to someone who wanted to make games. Another game I clicked with was Death Stranding. Yeah, another one, another another one too new too new for me. Konami needs to sell all their IPs. Um, it's a powerful statement right there. I think you can only not be affected by something that you really not let it touch you at all. Basically looking away all the time. What? So I don't know if I can truly... Leave your claim that nothing affected you so far. I don't. I don't know that I'm following. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, this is different. <laughs> the black Yoshi because the eggs are cow themed. <laughs> I never really thought about it like that, but you know what? You're right. Oh my goodness. Oh, my God. 
Whoa, that was close. So we have one heart already. That's weird. Why is it so far over to the left? Do they count from left to right? Did we get heart three before we got heart two and one? I don't know. Didn't look like there was anything up there that... required the cloud. What? I don't even know what kind of challenge this is. Oh, it's just a... Alright, it's a race. Nice. Look at all these melons. So many, we got two invincibility items right next to each other. Ooh. I can't rotate the... I can't rotate this thing by walking on the outside of it. You have to be inside of it. I can't even scroll the screen past that point. can't. There we go. Penguin. Well, I, I want to check out this upward path here. There we go. Is this an enemy or a friend? Hopefully it's an enemy. <laughs> Populating in the opposite direction. Weird. Whoever it was gone now. <laughs> uh, 
You're not wrong. Yeah, they seem to be unfriendly, though. Exit pipe. Heart number three. Great. Good. We got them all. All right. Yes. Let's get five fruit and let's get out of here. I don't know about this level. This level's weird. Well, you know what? I should do this challenge for practice, too. This is not going to go well. No. I don't think I want to go through that ring again, so we'll use the warp. What are these guys here for? Just to give me a melon? Thanks. Banana. Alright, one more and we are done. Oh, we're not done. It's boss time. Don Bongo. Try to dodge my bouncing blubber. Just don't hit my lips of rubber. Okie dokie. another one of those like whoever that was he's gone now situations <laughs> all right halfway there a level is called frustration the high mountain air was freezing cold how much could they take it was scary so high up they carefully crossed the canyons and cliffs then they met Don Bongo he was stomping mad, but the Yoshis put him on ice. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. I think art is one of the biggest mysteries of humanity. It can have all sorts of forms and can touch people in many different ways. It's really mysterious and powerful. Art is one of the reasons that makes life worth living for. Nicely put. Yellow Yoshi it is. Mm. 
Wind song. Remember the sound of the wind. It blows from a bottomless pit. Soft and squishy, a friendly guy uses his head to write a pie. Hmm. Speaking of art, is it PB at time in Castlevania tomorrow, Friday? Yes. Yes, Maslin. Uh, CVA is a uh, CVA speedruns are tomorrow, 11 p.m. Central Time. Alright, there's our first. Oh! Oh, that guy tastes bad. Oops. There's our first heart. Oh my. What? Okay, so. Oh, so this is. That's what it meant. Use this guy to ride up high. Okay. Getting all melons on some of these levels is really going to be a chore. Oh. I mean, I already dropped one a second ago. Hey, thanks for the lurk key. By the way, I tried to turn my sleep cycle upside down again, so I woke up at 6 a.m. today, which will be perfect for tomorrow's stream. Nice, right? Excellent. Now that I think about it, as much as I like the N64, I kind of look back at it, and it's a good system, but not Nintendo's best. I think most I think most people kind of feel that way. mobile game about like flying through things like this wow that's the first uh, that's the, I think that's the first one of those that I ever lost that badly oh man oh man I don't look forward to repeating that I think Nintendo is kind of weird with that system I mean Nintendo is kind of weird with all their systems right <laughs> 
It was just kind of weird end of thought. <laughs> You didn't like DK64. I don't remember being a big fan of DK64, but I also don't know that I gave it a fair shot, so I'm going to try it again sometime. Although, I think I, I did go, I think I did play through the whole game. I didn't 100% it. I don't know. I don't know, because it's, my memory of it's really fuzzy. But I was talking about it on stream one night. And I do know that I made it at least far enough in the game that I unlocked the uh, classic Donkey Kong arcade machine that's hidden in it. And someone told me that that's pretty late into the game. And I figured, well, if I made it pretty late into the game, I probably finished it. I just don't really remember it. But it was kind of... I don't know, my, my my memory of it is just that it was big and over uh, that it was just big and overwhelming. And I really don't like how things are arbitrarily locked behind each individual Kong and it's so difficult to switch between them. So I think there's a lot to not I think there's a lot to get frustrated with with that game. But we'll see. Like I said, I think um, I think I'm gonna play it again on stream sometime, and I might come away with a, with a very different opinion. Who knows? Console-wise, GameCube and Switch were the best so far in terms of technology. Actually, the 3DS too. Yeah. Star Fox 64 is fun but short. I mean, Star Fox 64. I, I mean, it is a. I guess it's a short game. It's kind of like this game though, where it's not like. It's meant for, it's meant to be replayed a whole lot. I think that question, I think that question bubble there has the heart inside of it. One of them anyway. Mario 64 is good, but kind of slow in the start. Um, you beat DK64 way later, and it's too cryptic. Hmm. Oh, T was good, but you didn't like Majora's Mask. I love Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is probably my three, my favorite 3D Zelda. Um, if we count 3D, if we don't count Breath of the Wild as a 3D Zelda, <laughs> since it's so different. Um, but from, from Ocarina through uh, Skyward Sword, now I never played Skyward Sword, but I played the others. Majora's Mask is probably my favorite. Compared to DK64, you prefer uh, the the Donkey Kong Country or the newer ones? I can get that. I can definitely get that. Oh, my God. 
It's been a very long time since I played. Mario 64. Oh, nice. I don't think this, uh, I don't think that bubble was there the first time around. What am I, what am I supposed to do about this? What? I don't know. I don't know where I am or what's going on or I'm so confused. Oh, I've only found one heart. There we go. So this one isn't the heart. So this is a melon? It is. No, don't fall off the edge. Get the devil out of here. <laughs> Don't want to have anything to do with that guy. Okay. You like Mario 64's later levels much more. All you need to do is complain about not finding it to find it. <laughs> uh, I think you're right. I got frog enemies. And there are a lot of enemies. I think Skyward Sword is my favorite. Still gotta buy it on Switch. Yeah, I'm. I haven't. Uh, I missed out on that one. I haven't even played it. I'm undecided if I want to pick up a Switch copy or not. I guess I. I guess I probably will, but I don't know when I'll get around to playing it. So, no rush. You didn't like Galaxy 1 or 2. I played a I played a little bit of the first uh, Mario Galaxy game. I didn't make it really far into it. I don't like using the motion controls, so it was always a downer for me. I've heard lots of good things about Mario Galaxy 2. I mean, I've heard lots of good things about both of them, but I've, most people I've heard who have talked about both games have said the second one was better. Oh, 
Oh, I can knock those guys down. Okay. That's good to know. Um, and Sunshine was a huge letdown when coming from Super Mario 64 expectations. Mario Sunshine, I don't like very much. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Mario Sunshine. It's a game that's, it's a game that's really fun to start, but every time I play it, by the end of the game, I'm just sick of it. There we go. It's so broken and unfinished and disappointing that I just don't have I don't have fun with it by the end of the game. The beach aesthetics are cool in Sunshine, but that's about it. I don't even, and I don't even like the beach cows. Give me, give me an all winter themed Mario game and I'll be happy. Super, where's Super Mario Icicle? <laughs> Neither do I, but it's pretty to look at. Fair enough. Fair enough. trailing a whole mass of frogs behind me here. Alright, we'll loop back through, we'll eat five fruits, and we will get out of this level. The physics have to be good for me in order to enjoy a game most of the time. Yep. Sure is taking me an awful long time to rush through these levels. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's because I have to play the game many, many times, so the gameplay has to be good enough to not turn me away from it.
All right, <laughs> two more stages. <clears throat> Strange creatures come out at night, and in the jungle, it was always dark. Neurons. What? Lived in the jungle, but they weren't as wild as they appeared. Instead, the neurons were quite tame, and they happily helped the Yoshis escape. The page turned, and the Yoshis grew happier. I had to read. I had to read off the capture because I missed the first part. And fortunately, it's a. Uh, on my stream manager, it's delayed enough that I caught the text. I, I could catch the text I missed. Shy Guy's ship. Oh, this isn't a ship at all. Neurons. I didn't know there were brain bits in that jungle. Yeah, I guess that's what those squishy guys were called. Oh, there's a ship in the background there. Oh my goodness, so many pipes. Yeah, let's get some eggs before we do anything with those pipes. Okay, let's see if we can go in, go, go in any of these. Nope. 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 I think they're just obstacles. Yeah. Yeah. No, no pipes for me. setting. <clears throat> Unrelated question, but do you think I need voiceover in my next Castlevania adventure explanation video, or is text enough? Um, well, personally, I prefer when there's voiceover in a video myself. Like, the the less reading I have to do on my own, <laughs> the happier I, I tend to be. That's why, uh, that's why as, a, as a general rule, I try to read the... Uh, I try to read the text that appears on screen in games for anyone who's uh, watching the stream, but you know, unless it unless it scrolls real fast or something. We do have the issue that I'm a. That I'm a Kentucky boy, and my country southern drawl means that I uh, I need the text to be on screen a little longer than maybe some other people do. <laughs> if I'm gonna if I'm gonna read it all out loud. There are also some people that dislike talking, so what is the writer choice now? You do what you like, Mazin. Mm -hmm. 
make the kind of make the kind of videos that you like to see. If you prefer videos with text, do your videos with text. You know, it's like it's like I'm not I'm not super crazy about being on camera and like with a face cam and whatnot, but I like to watch streamers generally. I like to watch streamers who have a face cam, so. I do a face cam because that's the kind of thing I like to watch. <laughs> now there are a lot of exceptions to that. A lot of streamers I watch don't have face cams, but... In general, I'd say I prefer it. You could do both. People could always mute the video if they don't like talking. That's a good point. Had to reset your laptop. Well, I'm glad you're back. Um, it's a visible point, I guess. Going by your principles sounds like a legitimate approach. It has been acting better-ish. Thanks. No problem. Um, one night it took you forever. I get, I get, I get pretty frustrated when I have technology problems. I, uh, I am very easily irritated when my technology does not behave the way it's supposed to. So I get, I definitely feel for people when they tell me they're having, they're having techno, tech, technical problems. I will say though, the one thing about um, so a lot of the a lot of the streamers that I like to watch uh, the most are ones that are like pretty like laid back and calm in their presentation style. Um, people who are like super animated. And you know, like like people who like shout and stuff all the time, I I tend not to prefer. And I feel like so one of the things about that is I feel like streamers without face cams are are generally calmer than streamers with face cams, because with the with the camera, I think people have a. They have a strong need to, to act and project and to, like, put on a show. But I don't know. There are, so, there are so many streamers, and they're all so different that it's really hard to generalize. <laughs> This is another one. My goodness, do you see? Look how far we have to travel. Oh, it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot of practice to grind out success at this little mini game. And fall all the way down and see if there's a heart over here. There's not. Have I found no, I found no hearts. Oh my goodness.
singing about playing one of the music remixes in the background and then voiceover is kind of in the way. So I think text only is great with the nice music, but that's just me. on that seagull. I would call myself rather calm most of the time. So you're right on that part. And I kind of see no point in face cams myself. It just covers the screen and the gameplay that I'm there for. Yeah. Um, I think tutorial vids and streams are different in terms of face cams. Streams, you're basically hanging out with someone, and I think it can be nice to see who you're interacting with. But with videos that you're just watching, there's no interaction, so a face cam is less relevant. Yeah. I was kind of I was I was kind of thinking some something similar there because I was trying to I don't know I, I I was trying to collect my thoughts um, in a way that makes sense but yeah there's just something like streamers who like who chat with their viewers a lot and tell a lot, like tell a lot of stories and things like that I prefer when they have a face cam just so I can see the person who's who's telling me the story. Um, do you guys even know how I'm allowed to just play an audio piece from another YouTube video of my video? Since it's a remix, I'm sure there's no copyright on it. The only thing is it could be the person who made it might be upset. And I mean, I can't get in jail or so, right? I don't know, uh, I mean, I don't know that you would, 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I think uh, if I were gonna use someone else's, if I were gonna use some someone else's music in a video that I was putting up, I would um, I would at least write to them and ask them for uh, permission first. I'm sure most people would be okay with uh, other people using their music and stuff. You know, especially if you link to their like, you know, if you link to their page or original video. But I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. As a as a general rule, I like I don't I don't um <laughs> as, a, as a general rule, I try using I try not putting um audio that's not from a game I'm playing on my stream anywhere. Uh, Sparrow. Sparrow gave me some, uh, some links to, uh, some, some music a while back, um, that he thought would be good for, like, a if I did like a like a starting soon stream, uh, start starting soon screen at the start of my streams, he gave me some music that would that would he thought would be appropriate for that. Um, but I told him it's just like I'm just I'm just too scared to play anybody else's music on my stream, so I I probably like even though the stuff he sent me was really good, I don't think that I would be comfortable using it. That still might get the video copyright claimed. YouTube would be pretty picky about music, even if it's a remix. Um, I'll obviously link the original video of it, but if there are any problems with it when I have no real way to actually ask them. Yeah, I, I don't know, Mazin. Because it's not, it's not something that I've looked into doing myself, and it's something that I would just in general i would be i would shy away from it and be wary of it myself so i wouldn't really know what to tell you I know this is not the intended way to get across here, but uh, it worked. So that's all that that's all that matters to me. Oh no! Oh no! We're so close. <laughs> Oh. Okay, that's 
see. Um, I mean, I'm not posting a comment under the video and wait until they answer me. Who knows if they're even alive anymore? <laughs> well, I mean, um, a lot of uh, like if you go to the about page for a YouTube channel, a lot of times they have a uh, they have an email that you can email people at. I need to stop eating fruit. I need to stop eating the fruit because I'm gonna I'm gonna complete this level. Oh no. And I've only found one heart. Hey, thank you for the pistachios, cows. Stop eating fruit and instead eat nuts. <laughs> Sounds good. Very, very nice. They just get better and better all the time. Well, I found something. I found a found a shy guy, <laughs> but I didn't live long enough to collect him. Situation's not good. <laughs> so long, Red Yoshi. See, every time, like when I restart like this, this is terrible because I've got, I've got no health and I can't afford to eat the fruits. Here we go. That's what I need. That's what I need right there is a flower. Oh, leave me alone. Do you think there's ever been someone who's uploaded four world record videos in a row on his YouTube? I'm kind of proud of that fact, but also feels weird and unreal in a way. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. It's probably not that many people.
So I don't know if the hearts on our sort of pause screen, I don't know if they populate And with any regard to what order we find them or what order they are positioned in the level. But it seems like, it seems like the one heart that we found is like the last heart for the level, so. Seems like any others around here should be earlier in the stage. Just don't know though. Oh no. I closed my eyes because I was I wanted to listen. And when I opened them again, I had fallen to my doom. Whoa. Can I... Can I get into this green pipe? No, all that work, and it's not even a pipe you could go in, into. Okay, I feel like I've been in one of these, though. The blue one? Yeah. I always get lost for where to find things in these flying type levels. Yeah, I'm not I'm not having an easy time here. Yoshi's Story is another N64 game you were so so on back in the day. I think that was, uh, I think that's most people's feeling about Yoshi's Story. I don't think a lot of people like this game all that much, but I like it. Even when it's giving me a hard time. Even when it's doing, even when it's doing stuff like that to me. <laughs> oh, one hit into the abyss. Do you think Mystery Candle is an appropriate name for a candle that has random item drops, or does anyone have a better name? Maybe I do. I I kind of like Mystery Candle. I think that has a good a good ring to it. I mean, if someone else has a suggestion, let's hear it. But Mystery Candle is a pretty good name. I was careless. I was careless, foolish, irresponsible. I really don't know that I'm going to be able to find the hearts on this level. I think that it just that doing that accomplishing this may be outside the realm of possibility.
fly guys carrying me to Hogwarts. <laughs> In other words, they schooled me. Look at this nonsense. Okay, okay, so... So I've made a decision here. We're not going to make it through all these number four levels tonight. We're going to finish this one. We're going to finish this one to get it unlocked. And we'll have to pick the other level up. We'll have to pick the other level up another time. I'm just, I'm getting too trashed. We're not going to make it. And I'd rather, I'd rather have to come back and, uh, and replay for one level than to replay for two. Especially when, um, when one of them I can't find all the items on. <laughs> My repaired in 64 has arrived. Excellent. Alright, so we're out of here. It's not really a victory. <laughs> but we're out of that level. Unfortunately, that's where the run, that's where this run ends. Um, because we can't do the number four level on the next stage. The Yoshis walked along the shore when pirate ships suddenly attacked. Ships ahoy! The Yoshis ran to escape the Shy Guys and cannonballs. As they ran, the Yoshis could see they were almost to the castle. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Most of the games I liked on N64 were barely Nintendo. Hmm. Yeah, see, both of these, both because we only found one heart, only two levels are accessible to us, and we've already done them both. All right, so we won't uh, we won't worry about that. I don't know if we can restart. I don't think we can restart a playthrough, so we just need to go in here and just uh, unfortunately, sorry, yellow yellow Yoshi, but we just need to throw this Yoshi away. <laughs> Every time the game says and the Yoshis were happier it makes me happier. <laughs> All right. See you, yellow Yoshi. Lolo Yellow. See you, yellow Yoshi. Game over. All right. So, <laughs> so here we are in this situation. We've got them all unlocked except this one. So I will need to do... I will need to do another playthrough at some point where we do, and we could be any of them. Like, we could do any of these levels. It's just when we get to page five, whatever level we do on page five, we have to find all the hearts so that we can go to this level. Um, but that can be, we can do that next time we pick up this game, or we can save that. We could even work on melons. I mean, starting next time, we could start doing melon runs on any of these other levels that we've unlocked. 
And that might be the thing to do. Do a whole bunch of melon runs, then make a loop to unlock this when we need it. Since it is just one last level. But we'll decide that further down the road. That's going to be up for Yoshi's Island for tonight. <laughs> I feel really bad. I feel really bad about not getting that level. That's It's immensely frustrating. But the other level, I don't know. I just kept They kept pushing me down holes. What was I going to do? I have no idea. No idea where the hearts are on that level. <laughs> Everything went fine. Everything went fine until 5-4 and then it all fell apart. But oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Majora's Mask is probably the only main Zelda game you never beat. Um, there's a couple I haven't. There's a couple I've never played. I haven't played the Oracle games, haven't played Skyward Sword. Um, haven't played... The DS Zelda games. But like I said, Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is probably my favorite traditional 3D Zelda. I like it quite a bit. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a short BRB, my friends, and uh, step away from the computer for just a moment. And when I come back, we'll switch over to Super Metroid, and we'll uh, try that out for the for the first well, for the first time on stream. So thank you for coming along on this uh, Yoshi adventure with me. And if you want to stick around, I'll see you again in just a couple moments.